Hey there, welcome to Vocational VoiceOver. I am your host, Thomas Birch, and I'm here with... Ash, Alex Garland, Riley Stein. All right, so, because this is a podcast, and the fact that we decided to do something a little bit different than the other group that was here with the, with the, the last week, yeah, right? Yeah, I think... Yeah, what would that be? I think that was and Kevin this, and Jason. we are going to be spinning a wheel in which we will the wheel I have right here, the wheel that the wheel that Alex has, yeah, a wheel of topics, and whatever topic the wheel lands on, we will talk about. And the topics we have are games, music, art, TV shows, movies, theories, childhood, animals, and YouTube. Just some normal stuff that we can talk about, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. All right, can you spin the wheel for us? And the topic is. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. If it don't break. Is it still spinning? <laughs> it's it's animals. 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 All right. That's a pretty good topic we can talk about. So. So, Tommy, actually, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a red panda, personally. <laughs> Could have really? guessed. Yeah. yeah it's, it's almost like. What's the name of the flesh you have? Uh, Gregory. 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 If. Gregory. I know that a lot of people who might be watching this don't know what Gre- who know who Gregory is. He is a stuffed red. He's kind of a plushy, more of a slap bracelet that we yeah. kind of we curve around the pillars that are in the the other desks area. And so I just kind of like cupped his hands around it, so he just hangs on for dear life. Jason doesn't like him, and I don't know why. <laughs> Matt loves him. Matt loves him. Yeah. That's just- Gregory, he's like the child of the class. Kinda. He is our pretty much. He's let's all not, of our stuff. Let's not bring up the Lego tank. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Alex knows what I'm talking about. Ash, what's your favorite uh, animal? My favorite animal, raccoons. Honestly, that's Fair also enough. Corey's favorite uh, animal too. Oh, are they? Oh yeah. Yeah, raccoons are a pretty are a pretty solid animal choice. I'm gonna be honest. I love the videos where like people give them <laughs> cotton candy. <laughs> and they try to wash it because they always wash their food. And yeah, it's just about to mention yeah. And they just look really sad afterwards. And there's like, did you know raccoons are also like a different type of panthers? Yeah, I, I mean they're related distantly. That's I didn't know that. I thought, I thought they're also th- called trash pandas. I was just gonna say that's why we call them yeah. trash panda. That's why we call them trash. Yeah. It's it's like it's for most of the for some of the animals that human that humans give names. It's really just like you either take the character ter- characteristic of an animal that you see the most and then just put that into the name like blobfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think that's a really funny idea. It's just trash panda. Ah, yes. The pan the, the raccoon digs into trash. Let's name its entire species after that. Uh what about you, Alex? What's your favorite animal? I like giant pandas. Just panda. I like just giant pandas. Do we all like pandas? Yeah, because pa- yours pa- is like no, mine's pandas. not. The only reason why I like giant pandas because, come on. I mean, yeah, it, it that makes pandas. that makes sense. I'm hoping, Riley. I'm hoping your option isn't another panda. It's, it's, it's a panda. not a panda. It's what a is it? Saber tooth tiger. That's a panda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is another species of panda. What are you talking about? No, that's a gecko. <laughs> that's a ge- it's a gecko. <laughs> Saber tooth tigers are cool. Um. Are we talking like Ice Age cyber, saber? Yes, yes, we are. Saber tooth oh, tiger. Or are we talking like we're talking Ice Age? Okay, because <laughs> there was the one. Pretty sure there were species of saber tooth tiger up until like 1700s or something like that. So, uh, I don't know the whole history behind that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of the Ice Age like mammals slash other animals that lived back then. Was like it's like really surprising how how much they evolved to turn into the animals that ca- some of the animals that we see now yeah like tigers lost their cool giant teeth why did they yeah. do that yeah. the thing was there was a study uh, i think an article I heard about that scientists were experimenting and trying to bring back the mammoth yeah, yeah. they made the mammoth meatball yeah did they were also that? close to, i didn't see that but they were uh if i recall <laughs> correctly they were close yeah. to getting a mammoth did n- wait did none of you actually see the mammoth meatball thing? i i heard of it they cloned a bunch of mammoth cells and made a giant meatball out of mammoth meat. And uh, But they said that they wouldn't eat it because they didn't know what diseases it carried. Yeah, I mean, that's I just... Blame them. <laughs> yeah. That's just one of those things, like, you you clone something that's from such a long time ago, you're probably not going to want to put it near you. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not by any means. It's going to awaken a, an old disease <laughs> that that doesn't exist now. EP the plague, too. Oh, just boy. a real quick question. How would uh, a clone... DNA cell would carry the disease if it was cloned. Well, okay, so it's like the issue is so like you gotta think. So the cloned DNA cell that's from a dead mammoth, right? 
Yeah. I'm guessing that can carry over genetically somehow. I don't know. Also, you got to think they were also really uncleanly and stuff. So we don't, and also like our immune systems are not exposed to that. Like you got to think like, say we gave like something that we eat today to like a pilgrim in like 1750, they would die. Their immune systems just, wow. So it just wouldn't work. Fair enough. Yeah. So. And also if we were taking, um, a, a sample from something that was preserved in ice. I'm I'm not sure where the sample came from. Yeah, it was from yeah, if, one in the ice. Then the diseases that it may have had would also be preserved perfectly, which is why everyone was afraid of the ice caps melting because they thought diseases would end up. Yeah. Honestly, I just like dinosaurs. That's all I think about. Yeah, dinosaurs are pretty rad. They're pretty. They're pretty they're rad. Pretty rad. What's your favorite dinosaur? That's a very important question. I'm you know I'm gonna go basic answer. Tyrannosaurus. Fair enough. You? Alex, I think it really He's deep in thought. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex, you good? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, well, he thinks of his What's answer. Yours? T Rex is mine. Yours is T Rex. Yeah. Dilophosaurus. I have no okay. idea what that is. Okay. All right. A Dilophosaurus is basically a smaller version of like. You know what a Velociraptor looks like, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a small version, but not like a long snout. Oh, I know. Like, You're talking like, about the, the little ones that steal eggs. Oh, That's the ones that look like the frilled geckos. Like the I frilled? want to say they have like um like weird, whatever fin things they call Yeah, they're, they're frills. They, yeah, it's frills. Yeah, and they spit poison at their uh, prey. Jurassic Park. Wow. I did <laughs> technically. Uh, yeah. I was not expecting a dinosaur to shoot poison at something. Yeah, no. They <laughs> they did for real. Um but you know where I got my evidence from. My favorite dinosaur, Sarcosuchus. It's just a giant alligator, pretty much. A very big alligator. They ate T Rexes. Oh my I know. God. Yeah. Um that's actually to go back to like animals evolving and everything. Um they basically, like, the only way alligators have evolved at all is they've gotten smaller. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else has changed over millions of years because, like, they're just so perfect of an animal. And I have always found that to be really interesting. And the crazy thing is um, people say birds and crocodiles are, like, the oldest dinosaurs that still live. Yeah, that, I mean, they're, like, the closest relatives Yeah, that still exist. I mean, like, fish. But that's that's what scares me so much about the animals that, for example, the bugs that were, Ugh. that, that scares me. Oh, I'm trying to think, the conchipede, which is a giant millipede. That is the funniest name for a human. They were, cent- dude, they were like nine feet long and like three feet wide. The titanoboa, though. Oh, man. That was, that was horrifying. Just yeah. swallows a car whole. Also, the fact that like, there were giant mosquitoes and stuff, <laughs> like giant wasps, it's like terrifying. I'm pretty sure they were so big because, um... Insects, like millipedes, they kind of absorb oxygen through their... Yeah, it was because of how much oxygen there was. Yeah, and now there isn't as much. They just became little, 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 itty-bitty. Yeah. Well, I think we should keep depleting the oxygen until they're all gone. Uh, (laughs) That's a a hot take there. (laughs) It's it's a joke. joke. (laughs) My lawyer says I have to say that's a joke. (laughs) My lawyer has to say that. Uh, (laughs) But, um, yeah, no, they were scary. They're, they're scary. They're, that's horrifying. I can just imagine a giant grasshopper. Like it jumps and it shakes the ground whenever it, whenever it launches off. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Dog-sized ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> you think yeah, Alex is currently in major disbelief. He's thinking. Oh, He's thinking. Oh no! What the ladybug? No. Dog-sized ladybug. Dog-sized ladybug. You fish. Fish. We got fish. What do you think? What do you think is the coolest looking fish? A cool looking fish? I'd have to say, well, are we going for like normal basic fish or like the more interesting looking fish? Because I say seahorse. 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 Seahorse is good. Okay. Okay. Seahorse is a good pick. What about favorite one? I got like a few. I like octopuses, sharks. Okay. Especially octopuses. When you told me that out of nowhere, they just like. They just punch fish. (laughs) Yeah. Just straight out of nowhere, just. Goes up the fish goes. Do you know that, Mr. Lurie? When octopi get bored, they will just like sucker punch fish for no reason. It's <laughs> that is hilarious. That's, a, yeah, <laughs> that's a it's funny. messed up. You're just walking by and an octopus just suddenly punches you in the jaw. That'd be terrifying. Let me pull up a picture of my favorite fish because. Oh boy. Ooh, what's the name of it? Just let me show you. He doesn't know. Do you know the name? I do. Okay. <laughs> 
I mean, if I didn't know the name, that would be kind of concerning. Just, just a little this bit. This fish. I, I like him. I don't know the name. This man. Oh no. What's the name of it? It's a frilled shark. All oh, the thing that looks like it's smiling at you. Yeah. yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> it has needle teeth. I don't like it. I mean, I like it. It's cool. But it's scary. It looks like it's smiling at you every time you see one, though. To be fair, we don't know what's in the really deep. Yeah, we'll spot, water. We'll we'll the water. Yeah, I think we gotta worry about that first, actually. You, you hear about that one fish with human teeth? Yeah, I know the one oh, you're yeah. talking about. They're they're a. Um, what was it called? Like a lamb's head fish? Yeah, it's something like that. Um, yeah, it's sheep's human? head. He, sheep's head. It's a sheep head fish. Yeah. Very no. Very no. Have you no. seen that? No, uh, yeah, I think I did. Yeah. There's another thing I heard about too. Um, there's this specific fish that always stays deep underwater, and it will start rising up to the surface in case like something. Um, oh, like poor fish. Uh, yeah. Yes, like uh, something big's gonna happen to the earth. They will like come to the they surface. They literally come to the surface and kill themselves on the surface so yeah. then people will know something's about to happen. Um, I don't yeah, or I'm, fish. I don't know which year nor how to organize this, but I'm just going to say it randomly. Uh, one came up and to the surface of, like, I want to say Hong Kong? No. Yeah, the, the, the earthquake. Somewhere in that, that You're talking about when the earthquake China. happened. There was yeah. one where there yeah. was an earthquake Twice. and then there was another for the tsunami that hit as well. Yeah. yeah. And then one came up recently of this year and... The tsunami was the tsunami that happened in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. One came up recently to the surface I heard about, but I don't know what will be to that one. I don't remember. Warfish apparently beach themselves whenever a di- disaster is about to strike. Yeah. So that's... Which yeah, is odd because like, they're usually out. right. Yeah. yeah, that's. I'm not because sh- I'm not one to believe in theories, but fish beaching themselves whenever a disaster is about to strike is a very interesting but also concerning. It's a very scary moment. Coincidence. Yeah. I, you know what I'm worried about mm. is when we end up with the next volcano eruption. One just happened. I know, but I'm talking like Recently. the Don't big they? one again. Oh, you mean like if like Yellowstone explodes yeah. or something? Yeah. You know they say that can happen in like. I think they said like twenty years or something. Yeah, like, I'm like that's what I'm worried God, about. That's that's great. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Isn't Yellowstone a nature sanctuary or something like that? Yeah, but you know how yeah. there's all the water geysers there. Oh well, yeah, I don't so go it, near it. So there's a volcano face. under it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a volcano in there. under it. Yeah. Oh no. That whole area is just a volcano. <laughs> You're just literally just standing on the top of a volcano. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, now I know what you guys are talking about. It's just closed. So like. Oh uh, well, I mean, yeah. But then again, pressure. So yeah, that's yeah. So if it explodes, it's and it's a oh. it's a huge. Oh god, the Hawaii volcano. Eruption. Yeah, I was gonna say, ain't Hawaii like a common place for just common volcanoes to erupt and stuff? There's actually yeah. quite a few volcanoes there. Yeah, not like rarely, but just commonly, right? And uh, compared to other volcanoes, yeah, for sure, mm. definitely common compared. Yeah. Well, I that's all the time we have. So we'll see you on the next episode of Vocation of Voiceover. Maybe not, but. We'll have a different group next time, actually. Different group, different group next time, so we might be here. See ya.